Despite limitations that are present in real estate sector today, there are some developers who strongly believe that their concepts are strong enough to keep their markets alive. Eco-friendly homes are gaining popularity and considering this scenario, Good Earth Homes Bangalore organized an exhibition and hosted an open house to showcase its eco-friendly homes in Kengeri. The exhibition was held from 24th to 26th of January and we bring you a report on these unusual homes. Good Earth Orchard is a community of 60 homes located in Kengeri on Mysore Road. This community layout is an experiment adopting alternative architecture inspired by the work and philosophy of Laurie Baker. Architect Jitaip explains the idea behind Good Earth Homes. Good Earth actually is a group of architects and engineers and uh, in the last 20 years we've been trying to experiment with uh, sustainable uh, community housing. And we've done various models and uh, when I moved to Bangalore about uh, 15 years back, we realized that the whole city has, uh, has very fragmented kind of parcels of land uh, and everybody is uh, trying to guess, get his own 60-40 piece of land and live. We found that it's, it was impossible to buy land in the city, so you had to go on the outskirts. And uh, over the last 15 years, we've, we've uh, designed and built two such communities. Uh, and Orchard is a, an example of uh, that uh, how a, a group of people can come together and build such communities and live uh, in the outskirts of the city. Good Earth Orchard has been designed using simple and basic architectural methods. The houses are planned in clusters of 13 to 16 units with secure compound walls around each cluster. Each of the houses has an area of 2500 to 3000 square feet and is built around an informal space or courtyard. Maintaining the concept of open spaces, the interior has few walls. The material used is a blend of eco-friendly and natural materials including recycled timber, stone and wire cut bricks. All the rooms have a window sill which doubles up as a seat and gives a sense of more space and also minimizes the need for furniture. A wooden staircase connects the two floors. Skylights and cross ventilation have been incorporated into the design. In each house, there is a provision for rainwater harvesting and decentralized wastewater treatment. The wooden doors and windows have been painted with cashew nut oil, which eliminates need for future painting. Good Earth Orchard uses space in a way that takes care of individual privacy along with community living. We have found that semi-outdoor spaces uh, encourage interaction with neighbors and are also good for privacy so what we've done is in in each of the houses in orchard we've provided a choice of verandas where we have back verandas which are completely private which look on to uh, possibly kitchen gardens which we hope that the community will develop and the front verandas look into a very private angan or courtyard which is walled which then overlooks into a common park so the from the front courtyard or the front veranda, one can actually, you know, chat with the neighbor as they pass by and be connected with the community. Whereas in the rear, you can be completely private if, uh, if you choose to be so. And you can enjoy the amenities of an apartment while staying in an independent house. You can have your shared facilities like security and water and uh, your sewage and everything taken care of uh, by a common com uh, group of people. And at the same time, you have the luxury of having your small piece of land where you can grow your vegetables and you can do your gardening. So that connection with land, which you don't, which is not there in apartment, is there in a community housing project. Though all houses share the same eco-friendly design, the individual feel of the houses has been retained. There are about six or seven types of homes in the entire community, uh, but within each home, uh, at the end, at the, in the appearance of the home, we have tried to create a kind of a language or an identity which belongs solely to that home, which is not uh, a common identity, but it has a, a common language that it shares with the other houses. So in the courtyard walls, in some of the windows that overlook the front, the, there is a difference from the neighbor's window. The courtyard walls integrate some landscape features or natural stone or murals that kind of bring alive that house. So the owner of the house can say that, oh, mine is the house with the carved window or mine is the house with the stone wall. The houses in Good Earth Homes come at a price range of 80 to 120 lakhs. 
The site used was once abundant in chiku and coconut trees, some of which have been retained even as the layout has been landscaped with various medicinal and ornamental plants. Thus, it still gives a sense of being in an orchard. Like the name suggests, Good Earth Orchard is about giving life back to earth. In Bangalore with camera person Rajarajan, this is Garima for Real Estate Television.